Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right. Night of Champions has come. Night of Champions is finished. It is about 4.30 in the afternoon. A lot of day left. Not a lot of day, but you get what I mean. We just had ourselves a show. Uh, what can I say about this? Uh, I think pretty much how I say about anything, right? Like it had its has some good. Sprinkle a little bad in there. <laughs> a couple negative. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's what we're here for. We're here to discuss it. So let's let, let, let's do that. Let, let's discuss it. All right. So the first match to start our show was. The phenomenal AJ Styles versus the visionary Seth Rollins to determine our first ever world heavyweight champion. And uh, this was one of those matches, well, this was probably the match on the card that had a lot of things going on with it. Meaning, I think maybe two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago at this point, WWE wasn't sure about Seth Rollins becoming becoming world heavyweight champion. Then last week we learned that Seth Rollins will be a part of a movie. He's going to be in the new Captain America movie, New World Order. So we don't know. I, I think production started for that already. So we don't know how how long Seth is going to be in and out. We don't even know how long production is going to be. But it's a Marvel movie, so I'm guessing maybe six or seven months. So Seth's going to have to deal with that. But regardless of it, right, WWE still wasn't sure. Then a lot of people had AJ Styles went in, and it was just like, man, it was just, <laughs> it's just a lot, a lot of things going into this match. But here we are. <laughs> AJ Styles, Seth Rollins. We know it was going to be a good match, and it was a good match. Just um, Seth Rollins, man. <laughs> I know, I know he's just, I know he just wears crazy stuff. <laughs> and this, the, the, this time around was is pretty much the same. It was just crazy. Like, like what, what the hell was he wearing? Like, man had them big ass shoulder pads and all that. I'm like, man, when you become champion, I hope you don't wear things like that. Cause how, how you gonna put the title on your shoulder? <laughs> like, go have to. Gonna have to hope that the shoulder pads can hold the title because you're not gonna be able to hold the title. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's like that. That was just bothering me. <laughs> that just bothered the hell out of me, right? Okay, so um, this wasn't much of a na there's, there's, there's really no narrative in this match. There really wasn't nothing. It was just two guys going at it to see who's gonna become champion. Nothing really crazy. Nothing really crazy um, going on, right? Like, nothing really crazy um, in this match really going on, right? Um, it wasn't until we got, like, later on into the match. Um, oh, I've been there. Okay. Um, just, you just saw the regular. You just saw the regular, um, regular moves. Uh, you saw... Uh, Seth Rollins do the uh, the top rope. What was that inverted suplex into the Falcon Arrow? You saw AJ Styles. Uh, I think he did the. Uh, I forgot what AJ Styles did. <laughs> I forgot that. But again, like mo mo majority of majority of this match. You, you gotta kind of push through it again. It's a good match. It was a good match, but it's like it's like something you gotta just watch to the end because it made it seem the longer a match goes, the more you kind of just don't. You're just not sure of what's gonna happen. You know, what I'm saying you're not sure. And that's kind of what this match also had as well. So get further to the match. Um, AJ Styles is out on the outside, and you know. Once somebody's on the outside of Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins goes for the suicide dive. So he went for the suicide dive. He landed awkwardly, and then he tweaked his knee, right? And said, boom, there's the narrative right there. Seth Rollins tweaked his knee. 
Is that going to play a factor in the decision? Almost did. Almost did. But we'll get into it. So, yeah, so, um, okay. So, um, AJ Styles looked for the phenomenal form for, I think, the second time in this match. So, AJ Styles looked for the phenomenal form. Seth Rollins, boom, hits him with a super kick in the face. Yeah, hits him with, yeah, hits him with a super kick. Seth was about to go for the, about to go for the stomp. And his knee buckled. So, boom, right there. Like, oh, well, there it is. And Seth Rollins is going to recover from that. So, Seth Rollins goes down. He's he's just he's just on his knees. He's just on his knees. Just breathe. He's trying to try to find the, the, the will to get up. He couldn't get it. Yeah, so he couldn't get it. So, earlier, Cat, uh, AJ Styles went for the calf crusher. That's, I think that was the move I was thinking about, the calf crusher. So then AJ Styles went for the calf crusher. He tried to go for it. Seth Rollins was able to counter it, hit a pedigree, then go for, yeah, hit the pedigree, go for the, go for the stomp. One, two, three. Seth Rollins is your new world heavyweight champion. No doubt the best decision. That was the only decision you really could do because you really couldn't put the title on AJ Styles. But Seth Rollins is the world heavyweight champion. Here we are. So I don't know what the future holds. Um, is Seth Rollins going to be in and out for the next couple of months? We'll see. But as far as we know, that was the best decision you could have did. Seth Rollins is the world heavyweight champion. I got nothing really else to say. But cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But cool. All right, next match, let's get it.